Malaysia's Prime Minister is calling on Ukrainian and pro-Russian separatists to agree to a ceasefire in the area surrounding the site where Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was shot down. The conflict in eastern Ukraine may not be easily resolved, but the people on board that plane had no part in it. Two weeks after the plane's destruction, the remains and personal possessions of many of the victims haven't been recovered to the anguish of their relatives and friends. We ask there be an immediate cessation of hostilities in and around the crash site by both Ukrainian and separatist forces. We ask that all sides respect the lives lost and the integrity of the site so that the investigation may proceed. The Malaysian leader spoke shortly before investigators succeeded in reaching the crash site for the first time. Investigators were allowed through a checkpoint leading to the crash site by a rifle-toting militiaman who then fired a warning shot to prevent reporters from accompanying the convoy. It remains unclear exactly how many bodies remain and what condition they are in after being exposed for so long to the elements. All 298 passengers and crew aboard Flight 17 were killed, including 43 Malaysians and 195 Dutch nationals. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.